almost 100 years ago was the very last time that Rochester saw a total solar eclipse. While it was a once in a lifetime event, then like it is today, both Rochester and the lead up to the eclipse looked and felt much different than it does now. Our Liam Healy spent some time with the Rochester City historian earlier today to take a trip all the way back to 1925. Liam, how was it? Well, a lot certainly has happened in 100 years, Natalie, and while there are still many things that are the same right here in Rochester. Of course, life moved a little bit differently in 1925. Rochester was filled with streetcars. The inner loop was still another quarter of a century away, and the Erie Canal had only been rerouted out of the city a few years ago. Now, despite how much things have changed, one thing, of course, remains constant. The natural curiosity that comes with being human, according to Christine Wodarski, the city historian. People were, you know, climbing on top of buildings, standing outdoors anywhere they could see the bridges were packed you know consider platt street bridge um, the main street all of the bridges in this area were covered with people uh, bal shalom actually set up some telescopes on some of the bridges for the public to use just like today people back then recognized the magnitude of the event as they got closer to it i think people in 1925 understood like we do today that this is a once in a lifetime phenomenon and one of the newspapers reported and this is a quote the astronomical show thus will not play a return engagement within the lifetime of those now living many scientists saw this as a once in a lifetime chance too so you had scientists in the area from kodak bausch and lom the university of rochester who were setting up at observatories to try to capture the ways that the shadows fell as it came over Rochester, trying to get the perfect image of what the eclipse would look like so that they could study it from a scientific perspective. Unfortunately, though, it was January in Rochester. Not only was it just around three degrees at the time of the eclipse. Shortly before the eclipse, the clouds rolled in. All of these people who had been prepared to photograph and video or film the event were terribly disappointed. What people did report though was some beautiful sort of morning sunsets and you know they described the colors as being just phenomenal going from a light lilac gray to a purple to reds and yellows and oranges. Now, there was also a bit of a scare for some folks during the eclipse on what was then the Platte Street Bridge, now the Pont de Rennes Pedestrian Bridge. A large crack appeared on the bridge, causing a panic, though it was later discovered that the bridge itself hadn't cracked under the weight of the nearly 2,000 people that were on it, but simply just a layer of ice on the ground had cracked instead.